Hi, I'm Dan Morgan Lee, and this is my wife, Donna Lee, and we're the owners of Morgan Winery. Welcome. This is fun. This is something we really haven't done before. We've been to Rosie's many times. Uh, we have a number of nice wines, great wines that you're going to uh, taste this evening, and a really fun menu to go with them all. So, Dan, I'm going to turn it back over to you. You can talk briefly about the winery before we go into the wine tasting. Yeah, sure. You know, we, uh, we started in 1982, so we're going to be doing our 39th uh, harvest this fall. And so we've been, we've been around for a while, and I know Rosie's has been around a while too, but really good customers of ours uh, throughout the years. And uh, we're, it's going to be really fun to uh, talk about the different wines here today. But um, we started, you know, almost right out of college. Um, so it was, uh, you know, it was different times. And um, we grew, uh, we, we uh, were winery first and purchased fruit. Then we bought our own vineyard, the Double L Vineyard, uh, in 1996. And so we became growers uh, at that point in time. And that's kind of where I spend a lot of my time down at the vineyard because I think the, the quality of the grapes is really contributes the most to the quality of the wine. And um, we have a great winemaker. His, his name is Sam Smith. And he's been doing a great job. He's going to, in our fifth, his fifth year with us. And we got a really good winemaking team. The, our assistant winemaker, Patrick Jackson, is, is wonderful. So um, anyway, between all the quality fruit that we, uh, we, we grow and also we purchase uh, some, uh, quite a bit of fruit still from growers that are really good, um, we just enjoy the whole process from, uh, from growing to, uh, to making the wine to putting it in the bottle. And, and, uh, and then what we really enjoy is having you enjoy the wine as well. Well, let's get down to that <clears throat> and start tasting. Mm -hmm. So our first wine this evening is our 2018 Sauvignon Blanc. And you know, Sauvignon Blanc is, we've been making it since um, 1984. And it really is a little bit of a sleeper wine for Morgan, but one of my absolute favorites. When I come home in the evening and I start to cook dinner, this is the wine that I grab. It's fresh, it's um, bright, it just is a real palate cleanser and just is a wonderful basis for uh, an evening of good food. And speaking of good food, this salad looks fabulous. I mean, what fun ingredients. I think it's going to pair really nicely with the Sauvignon Blanc. You want to yeah. talk a little bit about, yeah. about that sure. wine? You know, <clears throat> we're, we're kind of all, our Chardonnays and Pinots were based in the San Lucia Highlands, but right south of the San Lucia Highlands is this Appalachian called Royal Seco. And so it's just a little bit warmer and it's really well suited for Sauvignon Blanc. And that's where our Sauvignon Blanc uh, comes from it's all the Mousquet clone which is a special kind of a little more aromatic clone of Sauvignon Blanc. It's, it's crisp and dry like Sauvignon Blanc should be and we actually finish it with just a kiss of French oak just about seven eight uh, percent uh, French oak in it to add a little complexity a little interest to it but it's everything a Sauvignon Blanc uh, should be. It really is. <clears throat> So now on to the Highland Chardonnay. This is our 2017 vintage. Um, this, this Chardonnay is really the first wine that Morgan made when we started back in 1982. Um, I always say that it's, it was the Chardonnay that kept a 20-something Dan uh, down in the Monterey area all these years. Um, and you know we're still making it much the same that we did in, back in 1982. Um, gazpacho and prawns, mm, two of my personal favorites, and I think they're going to taste great together. And prawns and Chardonnay are such a natural um, pairing. You know, the yeah. nice bright acidity and yet richness that can stand up to that to mm -hmm. the flavorful prawns. It should be great. Why don't you talk a little bit about the yes, wine? Yes, yum. Um, yeah, so uh, we started making a uh, Chardonnay when our very first wine, 1982. Uh, it really, the wine that we made back in 1982, the Chardonnay, was pretty much in the same style as this one. Uh, you know, what's, what's great about our area, and specifically the San Lucia Highlands, is that it's really a cool climate, climate growing area. Um, the coolness allows uh, natural acidity uh, to uh, stay in the wine, and it also lengthens the, uh, 
the harvest season, the, the hang time, and so it really develops a lot of flavors. You know, the, the Highlands is, is really too cool to grow uh, a lot of grapes. We can't grow Cabernet, we can't grow Zinfandel. There's a lot of grapes that's just too cool. But the grapes that do well in our area uh, really do well, they really excel, and the Chardonnay is one of them. And um, it's, a, it's a combination, it's mostly barrel fermented with some tank fermentation, goes through malolactic fermentation, which has a kind of a complexity to it, and um, and aged in about 25% new French oak barrels, uh, uh, barrels that are really good quality barrels uh, that we hand select out every year. So, hope you enjoy. All right, so we're ready to move on into the red wines, and we're going to start with our 2017 12 Clones Pinot Noir. We're really well known both in the Santa Lucia Highlands and Morgan itself for our Pinot Noirs. And this is just one of the absolute best go-to ones in our lineup. It's got a little something for everybody. And I think it's going to go really complement this next dish really well. Dan, you want to talk a little bit about the Pinot? Yeah, sure. You know, um, usually when we get home, we We'll open a Sauvignon Blanc or Chardonnay or something like that. But uh, when we sit down for dinner, um, probably six times out of ten, we we open Pinot Noirs, you know, for the red wine of the dinner, for the dinner. And so we love Pinot Noir. Um, this is 100% San Lucia Highlands grown Pinot Noir, both from our vineyard, the Double L Vineyard, and and also some neighboring vineyards just down the street. And uh, the double L supplies usually in a typical year, 55 to 65 percent of the wine uh, is from the our own double L vineyard. So uh, uh, a lot of double L in there. So what the San Jose Highlands and Pinot Noir mean to me is that there's a nice there's a nice cherry berry base to it, uh, with complementary flavors of dried herbs, a little bit of smoky leather, uh, a little bit of cedar cigar box and things like that. Uh, deeply colored, um, rich, but with there still is a good acidity, so it ages very, very well. So uh, very versatile wine that goes with, with both fish and and um, and meat uh so it's one of our favorites uh, and, and it's going to go house. perfectly with with the fillet and then the crab meat mm -hmm. so yeah 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 okay so now it's time for our coat de crows this is our rhone blend um it's grenache syrah and tempranillo and this is a really fun wine i think in our lineup and and one that's that's very become very popular for us. Um, it's just um, a great value wine. It's very food friendly. It goes with so many different types of um, casual types of food, pizza, barbecue, lobster even. Uh, this will be an interesting <laughs> pairing. I'm thinking maybe that lobster might be coming off a grill, which would be very fun. <clears throat> the crows taste great with, with grilled food. And I see that we're having some garlic mashed potatoes. I'll be eating those up. <laughs> um, this wine will stand up just fine to that to that garlic. It's going to be let perfect. Me, let me tell you about the the crows. We actually uh, this is one of uh, two blends that we do. Our other one's called G17, and it's more Syrah based. This is more Grenache centric. It's 66 percent Grenache and at 31 percent Syrah and 3% Tempranillo as kind of a little uh, interest factor. But, you know, in the Rhone world, Grenache is a little bit like Pinot Noir. It's a softer Rhone grape. And so I think that's a good selection for the lobster tail. Um, and But besides that, um, you know, it, it has a, where we, where we make it, mostly Arroyo Seco fruit here, uh, it has a good acidity, so there's a little bit more ru rusticness to it. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be a nice wine to go uh, with this dish. So I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we're, we're enjoying it vicariously. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, fifth and last wine this evening. Mm -hmm. um, this is our 2018 G17 Syrah. Dan spoke about this a little bit earlier as um, another uh, blend, and I'll let him... Tell you more about that in a moment. The G17 name 
comes from, uh, that's the county name for River Road, which is uh, the road where the vineyards that we, where our vineyard is located, but also some of the other vineyards that we use in this wine. Yes, River Road starts at Highway 68, goes down, turns into a Royal Seco Road, and ends at the Royal Seco River. Okay. And all, all our Grenache and Syrah vineyards are right off G there you go. G17. There so, you go. Yeah. Now you know. <laughs> Um, so this is a really interesting pairing tonight, tiramisu. You know who'd like this? Who? Deb Canepa. Oh. Deb's our tasting room manager. Tasting, this, mm -mm. The tasting room is Taste Morgan in the Crossroads uh, Carmel. in Carmel. We'd love to have you come and see us sometime. Deb loves chocolate and she loves Syrah. And, and tiramisu. I bet she loves tiramisu. Uh, yeah. I know she I does, does for yeah. a fact. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking about her as, I, as I'm as i thinking about this meal. Yeah, but tell us yeah, a little bit yeah, more about yeah. the wine. Yeah, so G7, we, ta we talked um, about the Cote de Crows, which is Grenache-centric, and this is our Syrah-centric uh, uh, blend. It's 94% uh, uh, Syrah, this vintage, and with a touch of Tempranillo and a touch of uh, Grenache in there. And uh, so it's a little bit bigger, uh, richer, but it's it, it, all the Syrah is from the San Lucia Highlands. So it's cool climate Syrah and not jammy, hot climate Syrah. So uh, big difference there. More white and black peppers, uh, blueberries, stuff like that. Uh, so I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun to taste that with the tir tiramisu. All our reds are fermented in small open top fermenters when we manually punch them down. Um, in, the, in the straws, we, we do a little bit of stem inclusion, whole cluster in that for complexity. And then we finish it in, in a, um, about 20% new French oak barrel, so it gets a kiss of French oak as well. So quite a nice wine, and, um, and I think what's nice about all our wines is that they they they're really good value wines. There's a lot there, and we don't like we value is very important to us. So you can get them at a fairly reasonable price. And um, so anyway, we hope uh, uh, you enjoyed uh, the presentation of wines. We uh, hope you enjoy the uh, dinner tonight. Uh, this is this has been fun. Yeah. The only thing that I miss <clears throat> is actually meeting everybody mm -hmm. and getting to mm -hmm. walk around the tables and answer whatever questions you have mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and seeing how everything works. But mm -hmm. um, cheers to you all. Yeah, Thanks for the meantime. opportunity. Rosie's, <laughs> thank you very much for the business over the years. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. Well, cheers, honey. Hey, <laughs> cheers. <laughs>